Hello everyone and welcome to the SDN Tech Forum. Uh, in this video, I'm going to walk you through uh, SDAVC. So uh, this is the part one of this video. There was a prerequisite of uh, uh, Cisco NBAR. I have already um, posted that video. So if you are not familiar with NBAR, uh, please watch that video. In this video, I'm going to talk about SDAVC, uh, why SDAVC, what it can do and the architecture. And in the following video, I'm going to show you the actual dashboard and uh, and how you can consume uh, AVC services network wide. So on my screen, you can see why SDAVC because it's useful and easy application bandwidth monitoring. Uh, to mind it, it's not a capacity planning tool. Uh, uh, so don't rely on this for capacity planning, but yes, it can give you a easy glimpse of like how, uh, what application uh, in your network you have deployed and what kind of bandwidth they are using. Better application recognition in asymmetric environments. So if you have a, a DIA or a, uh, some kind of sort of uh, dual connectivity where your ingress and egress uh, sometimes takes different path, uh, uh, SDAVC can help you uh, to recognize those flows. Better application recognition of an, uh, an encrypted application. Now encryption is a big uh, uh, push for enterprise uh, because of the compliance and uh, uh, transaction uh, transactional thing. So AVC can help you recognize encrypted application as well. And the first packet classification. So the first packet classification, uh, it can classify almost 1400 application uh, and that uh, list is growing. Uh, so that first packet classification happen quickly and then uh, rest of the packet are switched in the hardware. What is SDAVC? A network service which ensure application recognition for visibility, analytics and application based policy solution. So just it's not just application recognition for visibility. You can do analytics. You can also uh, tweak uh, your policy. You can connect it to the external sources like uh, if you are having some SaaS services uh, you can connect to those SaaS services directly and pull the rules uh, from from the SaaS services so it says the auto learning and auto signature algorithm provide pack update capability at network level so if you have hundreds or thousands of devices in in your network updating the protocol pack individually is a time consuming uh, task so you can do it centrally from here now let's look at what is the SDAVC architecture look like. So you can see the SDAVC architecture has three main component. Two component are coincide with each other, uh, which is called host. And then you have network services. The host is the device which is hosting AVC network services. So this can be a UCS box, a ISR router, ASR router, or a, even a CSR 1KV. Uh, so basically the host device will host this network services as a container. So think of it as a, um, um, it's a VM running uh, on top of your uh, routers. So, and again, you since you're running it as a service, you need to um, have sufficient amount of like compute and uh, mem memory resources available. So please look for the Cisco documentation uh, before you attempt to install for software support, uh, how much physical mem memory you need, how much hard disk space you should have uh, so that your install uh, will go successful. Otherwise you will end up getting error and you cannot spin up the uh, container. So once you install that uh, network service, uh, you can access that network uh, service uh, as a dashboard using service IP at 8443. Uh, so I'll show you in follow uh, following video uh, how did the dashboard look like and SDAVC agents uh, which are running on your network infrastructure devices like uh, any uh, Cisco device. So AVC agent, uh, they have this uh, communication channel with network services and they send uh, whatever uh, data they are seeing uh, to a AVC and at the same time they download or pull the rule rules pack from SDAVC. Now I'll walk you through how to configure this. 
so as we know that there are three um, component uh, the network host uh, network services and the agent so here in this example i am configuring my network service services on a host which is csr 1kv uh, only few commands needed to install that service uh, you can see that uh, all the commands start with service sdavc uh, for first i'm doing install package uh, in boot flash this is the ova file available in cisco cco download uh, match it with your base software version of ios xe and uh, the, i'm uh, installing 310 which is the latest at, at this time of recording and then once you install uh, install the package uh, the, the once the package is installed you are going to configure the service gateway uh, that means the ip address which will be used as a as a network service and this ip address you will use to uh, to basically access the dashboard called this is called service ip and service ip and the host ip they should be in the same subnet uh, and obviously they talk to each other using some certain ports so the port should be open uh, once the service is activated do a copy run start and then i'm jumping to the third step once the service is activated and installed and activated, you can go to browser and say HTTPS service IP and use port 8443 to access the dashboard. On network devices, where you want to run SD AVC agent, the configuration is very simple. Only a few line of configuration, AVC SD service, define a segment. The segment is an arbitrary name, which actually help you to group the uh, devices so you if you have uh, van devices you want to group them together you if we have access level devices you want to group them together so give give them a different name and then the controller so define your controller i have just one controller in my network so i'm defining address pointing to the service ip what i installed here and the source interface obviously how uh, these devices are going to talk to the controller so define your source interface or if it is a part of vrf uh, you can define the vrf so source interface and vrf they are mutually exclusive you can use only one of them now let's go and uh, talk about a little bit about sdavc capability so as i mentioned earlier sdavc can recognize almost 1400 plus network application and provide a recognition for most enterprise network traffic uh, because cisco keep a track of like uh, what uh, what new applications are getting introduced and in time on time they uh, update the PDNM because Cisco provide protocol packs. Uh, SD improve uh, application recognition and offer solution to challenge posed by complex network that use variety of routing devices and routing methods. Collecting application data. So uh, <coughs> periodically SD AVC agent send, sends the latest application data to centralize uh, AVC, AVC dashboard. And in turn, uh, SD AVC aggregate those application data and push down the rules uh, to the network devices like for example a rule looks like something like this so uh, based on your source ip address and port and the protocol so very powerful tool uh, use it in your network uh, uh, this is a very uh, lightweight uh, even the compute and in other requirements are very lightweight so highly uh, recommended in next video i'm going to walk you through the dashboard and see show you how you can actually go ahead and configure services uh, thank you for joining